Good day, life science students. Welcome to video lecture episode 19. Today we're going to continue our discussion by talking about soil loss, and we're also going to just briefly start the three R's of conservation. So let's get into soil loss. Well, let's look at a terminology that's in connection with this, and that's erosion. What is erosion? Well, erosion is the movement of soil from one place to another. Fertile topsoil is important for plant growth. Keep that in mind, the word there is important. It is filled with the proper nutrients for plant growth that took years and years to develop. Notice how long those nutrients in the soil take to develop? Not days, not seconds, but years. Well, rain washes away topsoil, Plants, of course, cover and protect the topsoil. Bare soil is more easily carried away by rain or wind. Landfills and other pollutants damage the soil. So let's keep this in mind. Let's just think about all this in connection. One, we need plants because they provide nutrient and various resources for us as well as for animals. And that those plants need proper soil and that soil needs proper nutrients and that proper nutrients don't form just overnight they need time so we have to protect the surface and planting plants is one way we can do them now keep in mind as well that our landfills and other pollutants are damaging the soil so there's another damage happening so not only is erosion sometimes moving things away but we're also poisoning by some of the things that we cause as pollutants whether that's in the air water or, or on land now look at slide 117 and we can see what it looks like as far as soil degradation across the world and it gives you the varying degrees how bad the soil is in various places. All right. Now let's move to slide 118. Let's talk about an overview of what we're going to be talking about as far as the three R's of conservation. Natural resources can be conserved and they can be conserved by following the three R's of conservation. The three R's of conservation are as follows. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Can you think an example for each one of these? If you can, you can leave that in the comments below. You can also include that in your notes. Now let me read a little story. It's called the Starfish Story. This is on slide 119. Once upon a time, there was an old man who used to go to the ocean to do his writing. He had a habit of walking on the beach every morning before he began his work. Early one morning, he was walking along the shore after a big storm had passed and found the vast beach littered with starfish as far as the eye could see, stretching in both directions. Off in the distance, the old man noticed a small boy approaching. As the boy walked, he paused every so often, and as he grew closer, the man could see that he was occasionally bending down to pick up an object and throw it into the sea. The boy came closer still, and the man called out, Good morning. May I ask what it is that you are doing? The young boy paused, looked up, and replied, Throwing starfish into the ocean. The tide has washed them up onto the beach, and they can't return to the sea by themselves, the youth replied. When the sun gets high, they will die, and unless I throw them back into the water. The old man replied, But there must be tens of thousands of starfish on this beach. I'm afraid you won't really be able to make much of a difference. The boy bent down, picked up yet another starfish, and threw it as far as he could into the ocean. Then he turned, smiled, and said, It made a difference to that one. Think about that, folks. Even though obviously the boy could not pick up all those tens of thousands of starfish, he was at least caring that he could contribute to help in the population, even if it was just only a few. Something to consider when we think about uh, the R's of conservation and our, our part in that. Okay? Now look at slide 120. We're going to talk about the first one that's reduce. Okay? So, what are some things we could do to reduce? the use of things. Well, one, we could ride a bike instead of a car. We could refuse a plastic bag at the grocery store and instead use cloth bags. We could avoid buying things we don't need. And we can also look for products with less packaging. We could use a five gallon jug for water over the, over the smaller little bottles. Okay, these are just ways we can reduce the use of certain things and conserve. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our lecture. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day and take care, students. Goodbye.